Hi, Phyllis here from SouthernFrugal.com. Have you ever got to the place where you said, I've just got to have something sweet. I've just got to. So I'm fixing a, just really just a half a cake, and I'm going to put some um, buttercream icing on it. I'm going to clarify the butter so you really get that good buttery taste. Anyway, it's just a plain yellow cake. And I'm going to make it as simple as I know how to make it. All right one stick of butter. I put it in the microwave and let it somewhat melt and some of it's still solid. So that's as good as room temperature butter. So into that I'm going to add one cup of just plain white sugar. I'm going to go ahead and put in a teaspoon of vanilla and two eggs. I'm just going to go ahead and put it all right in. Dumping it all right in. So that's one cup of sugar, one half cup of butter, which is one stick, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two large eggs. And I'm just going to beat that together and until it's kind of creamy, and we'll be back. Okay, that took about two minutes or less. So you see the creamy consistency of it. Now I'm going to add my flour, which is one and one fourth cup. Now I sifted this and then I measure it. So it's one and one fourth cups self-rising flour. And this is white lily, so that way I don't have to add any baking powder, salt, or any of that. And one half cup of whole buttermilk. So I'm going to add the flour, one third of it. Just use my uh, spatula and uh, go ahead and uh, mix that flour in. That's my husband's telephone, I think, his cell phone. Yep. All right. Now I'm going to add one half of this buttermilk. And believe me, you can make this recipe quicker than you can make, uh, make it from uh, a cake mix, really. I think a cake mix, you're going to have to mix it three or four minutes with the beater. All right, now we're ready for one more third of the flour. And again, I just soften my butter in the microwave. And because the flour is sifted, that's why I can mix it in with just the spatula. Now I'm going to put in the rest of the buttermilk. And this is just a case of we've been out looking for uh, an RV all day long. We've looked for them before. And the new malls are so dreary. They've got brown couches and brown and tan everywhere. And I think we're just about at the place where we're ready to look at Craigslist and look for a used RV either a Class C or a Class A because I just don't like any of the new ones. We don't want a fifth wheel, but if we did look at those too. Anyway, I think I must have used up a lot of calories because when we got home I said I have got to have something sweet. All right, ready for the last one-third of the flour. I'm just going to mix that in with the spatula. That's really all there is to it. If there are any lumps in there, it really doesn't matter. They will get taken up as soon as it starts cooking. Now this is a 9 by 13 inch Pyrex uh, pan. So I'm just going to dump that in. And we're going to cook this for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And I'm going to check it after about 25 minutes. so desperate for something sweet, we'll probably ice the thing before it even gets cool, and we'll be having a piece while it's still warm. Usually I have something sweet around, 
in the freezer, and but this time I did not. All right, we're ready to bake this. And when this is done, or just before it gets done probably, we'll be back making our icing. We'll be back. All right, my cake's going to be done in just a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and start making the icing. I'm using a half a stick of butter, or four tablespoons. I'm going to put that in a pot, and I'm going to clarify that butter. Now, what clarifying does is it gives you a much stronger taste of butter. I have my burner on high, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit. And then I'm just going to keep stirring it. Because I don't want the butter really to brown. I just want uh, any of the liquid that was in the butter to evaporate. And I want the milk solids that are in the butter to kind of turn a little bit brown. Now if it starts cooking too fast, I just have a wet rag and I just move the pot over to the wet rag and get it to stop cooking so fast. So let's just continue on here. I'll turn my burner down to medium low now. I had it on high right to start with. Get this butter clarified. I'll start looking more of a golden color. And this is salted butter by the way. I mostly always just use salted butter and cut down on the butter that goes in the recipe. So what's happening now, the steam that's coming up from that is some of the liquid that was in the butter is just steaming out of it. And this gets to the point where it's clarified usually really quickly once it gets started. And the reason I stir it is because the milk solids will kind of stick to the bottom of the pan and start burning if you don't. And see all that foam that's there on top, that white foamy stuff, that's the milk solids. And they're gonna, they're really just cooking is what they're doing. All right, now I can actually see some of the milk solids in the bottom of this now and they've turned sort of a golden color. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that or not, but they've sort of turned a golden color. So now we know that, that the liquid has pretty much evaporated out of it, and you're gonna get a much stronger taste of butter. So to stop that cooking, I'm gonna put in one fourth cup of buttermilk, cold buttermilk, so that way it stops the, the cooking process right away. And take it off the burner, Stir it around a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and add my confectionery sugar. Now, I don't really measure this, so I'm going to start out with probably what's about a cup. And again, this is not going to be a thick icing on this cake, because I'm just simply looking for something sweet. And what I'm going to do, as soon as my buzzer goes off, I'm going to have this icing ready, and while the cake is still hot, I'm going to pour it right on top of it and to prevent it from getting sugary, I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of Cairo syrup or corn syrup. That is if I can get it open. Ugh. There's my rag here. Ugh. Okay, about a tablespoon. In order to do it, I'll just mix that around. I'm going to put in probably at least another half cup of confectionery sugar. Well, that's more than a half cup. But if it gets thicker than I want it, I'll just simply add a little more buttermilk. And I can smell my cake. It smells like it's almost done now. Little drops of buttermilk still left in there. I'm going to dump that in, get every bit of it out. And I'm going to 
also add about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, just a dash of salt, boom, two dashes. All right, so I'm just going to pour the vanilla in about a half a teaspoon. Will work. Okay, now to get the lumps out of this, I'm just going to put the electric mixer in there real quick. Lesson's ready, so all I'm doing is waiting for the cake for the buzzer to go off, and we're going to dump this right on top of the cake. See the consistency of it? This is runny icing, but that's just the way I want it. Because I'm not going to smear it on the cake, I'm just going to pour it on. Alright, as soon as that buzzer goes off and I get the cake out, we'll be back. Alrighty, my cake is done. Spring's back. It's very buttery, and my icing is going to be very buttery. And of course, the cake is still very hot, but I'm going to pour that icing right on top of it. a little bit. Of course some of this moisture will run down into the cake also. Get every bit of that out of there. Now this is also a great cake if you're going to have like strawberries with whipped cream or blueberries or any kind of fresh fruit because it's just a plain yellow cake and this is really what would be half a layer. So I make it in a 9 by 13 pan and you literally can make it quicker than you can make a cake mix, okay? And it tastes a lot better than a cake mix. Alright, so I'm going to let this cool just a little bit. And then we're going to cut it and we're going to have some cake. Okay, this cake has somewhat cooled now and we're going to go ahead and have a piece of it. It's still pretty warm. It's not hot, hot, but it's warm. Let's see if I can get this piece out. All right, let's try for this piece. Here it is, moist, sweet, and delicious. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try a bite of it. Mm. Very moist and very buttery. Okay, see you next time.